after a manic week of organising, getting all the gear ready, tying up the loose ends, all the admin, all the paperwork, all the bells and whistles. We're here, Pacific Islands. Check it out. A little bit cloudy, she's been blowing 25, 30 knots today. So we're gonna have a lay day tomorrow and go check out more of the islands, some of the waterfalls, rainforest, remote beaches. And then we're gonna be hitting it for the rest of the week. Chasing some blue water, blue water business. We've got, we've got business with the blue water. Doggies, wahoo, all the good stuff. We'll see how we go. It's incredible to be here to get another Pacific hotspot off the list. Get a load of that, wake up to an epic rainbow. What <sighs> <sighs> on the agenda today, Mark? Oh, Mark, we're in the back of you. We're up for a bit of an adventure around the island, checking out waterfalls, swimming holes, a couple of hidden beaches. That's all I know, really. It's going to be a good time, though. We've tracked our way through the rainforest here. We found this big, ancient, beautiful, sacred tree called the Ma Tree. It's about probably 25, 30 meters tall. Not too wide, but the root system on her is incredible. She's definitely got a couple of roots under her belt. Check it out. One waterfall, two waterfall, jump in there, potentially, if there's no big logs or rocks. We'll see. But, we're frothing. We'll suss it out, we'll suss it out, we'll get back to you. She's blowing her nuts and bolts off on the ocean, so we decided to come and check out a bit of the island. Oh, volcanic rock. That hurt. And uh, we're here at this waterfall. It's been a fair bit of rain. I haven't even been in yet. I haven't been at the waterfall. Got a bit of rain going, but uh, Stricky is just about to take flight and uh, suss it out. Send her, Joey. See you in there, mate. <laughs> It was a bit sus then, glad he came up. Trekking up the river here, we've been tipped off at the top of this river. It's meant to be a pretty shit hot waterfall and I think we're getting close now. Woo! <laughs> there she is! So good. Boys have uh, done a bit of a hike up to the top. We're gonna see if there's a, they're up there. They've just walked up through the jungle. We're gonna see if they can track it across and whoosh, straight in the guts. Looks like Benny's found a spot where he's comfortable to make the leap of faith. You're on the edge of it. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Straight out there, mate, you'll be right. Head down there. It's real safe! Oh, yeah, right. you send it for Today it's absolutely howling wind. It's 20 to 25, actually close to 30 knots. So we're just doing some land-based activities. Checking out all the waterfalls Samoa's got to offer. I've just pulled up at Tasua Ocean Trench. Um, probably the most iconic photo in Samoa. We're gonna jump in the water and check it out. And then in a couple of days time, we're gonna be out on the water here behind those waves looking for big pelagics. As you can see at the moment, it is not where you wanna be, about 30 knots. Let's get in there. To help people? Making life easy, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can get a load of this hang. Oof. See. See. You. How's this man? Well so good. Well yeah. Hey ho.
How cool is this little spot here? There's this little underwater tunnel that comes out of that big swimming hole and it leads to the ocean. There's this one little air pocket here. So sick. Phew. Oh man, this is like where Peter Pan would live or something like that. This is epic. And then that's the ocean out there. To get back through, we've got to wait for that current to start coming in. Throw my mask on, take a deep breath. Let's get back to the other side. Here we go. How is it mate? Incredible. Number one. Beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. Yeah. Red one and a blue one. Alright. Just getting a few supplies from the local yeah. supermarket. Yeah. It's got absolutely everything you need here. We've got pumpkins, uh, no, no, pineapple, yeah, cucumber, gorgeous. donuts. Probably just got You've got everything you need here. You don't need to go anywhere else. <laughs> Well done. What's it, what's it, I like the no smoking policy as well. So for those of you who don't know what a jungle perch is, they're one of the most sought after sports fish in Australia. Northern Australia, you find them. People travel all over the world to catch them. And we're here in Samoa at this uh, little freshwater trench next to the ocean. And it's full of 30 to 50 year old jungle perch. Absolute dinosaurs. Prehistoric. And they're just sitting here, hanging out, saying good day. You can swim right up to them. Incredible. Yellow lip emperor. Hey. Long nose. Emperor. Hello. Look at that. They're really good. Get a load of these buses. These are the, uh, the bloody magical school buses. Woo! Yeah, the boys. All under control in the back there, boys. Gonna get some gold nuts. This is just <laughs> practice for the dog tooth tuna. Yeah, we're down here, guys. We're yep. smack bang in the middle. Oh. Yeah. You're sitting around here in Samara in the afternoon. You've got no telly. Right? You're uh, working out things to do. And ritual we've come up with is every afternoon, coconut bocce. And we're in uh, could be pretty, in lead. Yeah, pretty, pretty full on uh, game here. Stay tuned. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be coming up, <laughs> coming up the rear before long without warning. They won't even know what hit them. Wow! I really think I got a shot. That was an excellent throw there, guys. Thank you very much. But you know, when you've been around the coconut bocce game all your life, <laughs> uh, that's what you can expect. Afternoon coconut bocce, polished off with a cheeky bit of popping for GTs out front reef here. What do you reckon, Stricky? You want to 
control here, mate. Any second now, they should come jumping up on the sand here. We've been teasing them in. I've been Roper. So the time's come. We're saying goodbye to the, the mainland and all its amenities and comforts. And we're heading over to a small little island somewhere. I don't know exactly where. We're north, south, west, east of the south southern <laughs> volcano near Back Reef there. And uh, yeah, we're going to stay on these little farlays on this island, hopefully being able to access some pinnacles to uh, chase some dog tooth tuna and big pelagic fish. In there, boys. Where's Bang anyway. Stop texting your missus. Not sure if there's water, fresh water where we're going, so we've stopped in with our uh, main man here, that day, wasn't it? <laughs> yep. Uh, picking up the water. I've got some epic entertainment here. This fellow who, um, but he knows his way around the keyboard. Let's give a seat. Thanks, mate. Some good tracks. He's the man. Just sitting there, blind as a bat. Just absolutely ripping it up on the little accordion setup, singing his heart away. Good on him. I'm sweet home. Made it. Come across with the 40 Yamaha Enduro Pacific Island style and the aluminium cat. A couple of dints, but she she prevailed and exceeded expectations. Now we're home for the next three nights. The captain's made his way past Good the captain. volcanoes, fringing reefs, big swells. He's, he's come here. He's found us ready for the afternoon sesh. Push the beds together, mate. Double beds. Yeah, definitely, definitely uh, arranging bunk beds. <laughs> so much room for activities over here as well. Check out the little setup. We've got a couple of little beds here in this room. Everything you need. And then, oh, another room. Mate, we've got everything in here. All right, look at that, little views. Plus deluxe in here. Out here, to the great yonder. Oh, you got, oh And uh, I can get a load of the bed sheets. Who do we have here? Aiden Quinn, that you, mate? I don't know if that's you or Zac Efron. <laughs> look at that. My head will be going right, right there. Hey? What are you doing here? Pretty stoked at that. George, that's where we are, Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that is up there. How cool is that? That's where we're going this afternoon. Sun's out. And we're making the most of it. First time we've seen blue sky in a couple of days. You can feel it charging me up. Ooh! Gonna go for a little afternoon run. See if we can get some fish for dinner. Heel. So it's the first afternoon at our second base camp here. We're literally camping nestled in with the palm trees there and the sun has finally come out. The whole place looks like a different setup. All the colors just pop, incredible. Out over the reef flats here, this whole lagoon is draining out this one little channel and there's no doubt GTs and doggies just behind that surf break there. We're gonna do our best to get into them. How's the morale, boys? Oh, sky high, brother. Sky high? Yeah. What do you reckon, mate? <laughs> I'm having a panic attack on that stoke. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a rainbow, so that's got to be a good omen. You know what they say, at the bottom of every rainbow... Dog to a tuna. There's a dog to a tuna. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Found an area with um, some of the best reef fish I've ever seen. Big long nose emperor. 
in schools of about 20 fish, which I've never seen before. That was incredible. Emperor, one of the tastiest and arguably hardest fish to shoot in the ocean. Long nose Emperor. Me and the skipper are watching the boat and uh, he's just throwing a jig over the side and he's on. That's a beautiful coronation trout. This big bugger was sitting right on top of the shallowest part, thankfully. Managed to get down and got a stone shot on him. He's coming home and feeding the whole tribe today. It's a beautiful coral trout. <laughs> they were taking a day off being a hard fish to shoot. <laughs>